B2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I'm going to be replacing the hot, hot surface igniter and the uh, flame sensor in this year Goodman heating furnace so as usual before we get to the video I want you to go ahead and subscribe if you hadn't subscribed and smash that bell icon so when I upload videos like these you get them right away all right um, so I've already completed completed a job on this furnace up top because there's two furnaces so I did the same job up top there as completed completed and running as you saw earlier so I'm gonna show you in the bottom here in this furnace step by step so here is the new the new um, hot surface igniter here is a new flame sensor and you notice I'm wearing some rubber gloves because it, you can't touch that surface with your fingers because the oil from your fingers will create hot spots and shorten the life of the of the glow igniter or the hot surface igniter you can note the difference between the, the used or the old or the, or the defective ones right versus the new one this is defective you can see right here I was looking kind of white or it looks looking white it's broken and I'm gonna leave a video link to the diagnostics a link to the video of the diagnostics in the description and again you can see your corroded these are this is a flame sensor versus the new one okay side-by-side -side comparison all right so let's get into it first thing you're going to want to do is just open and remove the covers like or turn the turn the unit off turn your service disconnect switch off and then remove your remove remove your furnace covers Alright, so there you go. I'm all opened, cover is removed. There is your igniter. Oh, sorry. There is your uh, flame sensor in the bottom. your hot surface hot surface igniter okay it's gonna just unplug this harness right here unplug that and you're going to just unplug this little connector white wire wire connector wire connector let's pull it right off
simple. And this is a orientation sensitive. So you must check your orientation when you're reconnecting it because it won't go in if the orientation is incorrect. Okay. All right. Next step, got my uh, quarter inch screwdriver, or nut driver, quarter inch nut driver. This one's going to be a little tricky because the nut driver is too long. So I'm going to use my my uh, my scoop my drill driver impact. Use that, and I'm going to use this piece right here. It's a 90 degree. Alright, so if you're a do-it-yourselfer, I wouldn't recommend this if you're a pro. If you don't have this tool in your arsenal, go get it. If you're a beginner, also go get it. Do-it-yourselfer. Um, this video is not for you, just to be clear. Alright, so let's go ahead and remove that flame sensor. So out with the hold and in with the new. Start with this one. Out surface igniter. Goes up top. Gently line it up. Can you see? So all you have to do right now. Right now it's gonna put the screw in. Put the screw in and you're good to go. So again, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, do this at your own risk. You know, this is videos for pros, beginners. It's a little bit tight this one because it's a smaller furnace. Access wise. But there you go. Now it's gonna plug the wire back in. And I want to side be nice and fine. Nice and good. No, like I said, check your orientation, guys. It won't go in if the orientation is incorrect. If you have to force it too hard, that means it's the wrong orientation. In the corner, you can see. Actually, let me give you the old one. In the corner right here. see the piece that's sticking out so you got to line it up the female with the male properly you can see the corners right here and right here if it's if the male piece is orientated the wrong way it won't go in so just check the orientation of your connections. 
You see the grooves right here? In the corners, in the corners is where the groove is. So in the female, you have the matching grooves for these grooves right here. It has to be lined up. If I could do this with one hand. Oh, that's easy. One hand, guys. One hand. So again, check your orientation. If it's not going in, that means your orientation is incorrect. Don't force it. I simply did that with just one hand. Now I'm also going to do the same thing for the um, flame sensor. It also will help if you could start this screw with your hand, with your finger, and then once you're done, you just tighten it up with the screwdriver. See? Start off with your hands or your fingers, and then you use a screwdriver. Oh, did I say screwdriver? I mean nut driver. You could use a screwdriver here too because it's like it's a Phillips, it's a Phillips and quarter. The screws are a quarter inch and Phillips. You can use a Phillips uh, a screwdriver or a uh, quarter inch nut driver. Right. Now it's time to fire up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I do upload videos on a weekly basis. First try. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this video off. Once again, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, do so right now please.